Yesterday morning, we found out about the first big deal of the year with Dominion Energy, letter D, the huge utility, buying the troubled South Carolina-based Scana in a deal worth nearly $15 billion. This acquisition will be immediately additive to earnings upon closing, and it helps expand Dominion's utility and pipeline empire in the southeast, which is currently having a manufacturing renaissance and needs all the power it can get. Yet Dominion stock actually got dinged yesterday, dropping 3.85%. The latest le leg lower for a stock that's felt like a punching bag over the last few weeks, now down nearly 10% from its mid-December highs. Although a lot of that is because of the utilities being sold off. You think, though, with the East Coast facing the worst cold snap in ages, a company like Dominion would be sitting pretty right here. But apparently the market doesn't see it that way, and it is a regulated utility. Can't really capitalize. So let's check in with Tom Farrell. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Dominion Energy. Learn more about the scale a deal, which is so interesting, and where his company's headed. Mr. Farrell, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Great to be with you. All right, Tom, I got to tell you, I thought that this was one of the most opportunistic, exciting things for a terrific company like Dominion that, you know, been recommending for more than a decade. Can you walk people through this and why you think this deal is going to get done? Because I know there's some politics, but boy, it sounds good for the people who've been paying the bills. It's really good for the people who've been paying the bills. Of course, you're referring to Scana, which is a South Carolina-based electric utility with assets, also gas utility in North Carolina, and some uh, gas uh, sales uh, in Georgia, gas uh, distribution in South Carolina as well. This is the company that had to abandon uh, uh, building a new nuclear facility, uh, for which customers have been paying for a number of years. Stock has suffered. Uh, it's a very difficult situation for the folks in South Carolina, their customers, and, and the customers of their partner, the cooperatives. Uh, so what we did is frame, it's a complicated deal because we put together a package, Jim, that tries to solve a lot of the problems for the customers. So uh, $1.3 billion in cash going to their customers within 90 days of closing. The uh, very, very unusual thing to give a uh, company's customers value in a transaction. I've never heard of it before. Uh, and uh, seven, almost $600 million in subsidies to subsidize a rate reduction of 5% going forward, shortening the time period from 60 years to 20 years, uh, absorbing an additional $1.7 billion in costs that have been spent on the plant that are not yet in rates. So all in all, there's a tremendous amount of value going to the customers of SCANA, electric customers in South Carolina. It is subject to uh, regulatory approval by their regulators. Now, Tom, at the same time, I know that sounds like a lot of money, but you immediately said this will be additive, even with those costs. How is that possible? You're shelling out all this money, $1,000 to people. How will you still make money off of this scan deal? It has lots of it has to do, Jim, just with the differential in our size. We're six times larger than a SCANA. They put their best foot forward or what they could afford financially. Uh, our financial resources allow us to put uh, more, bring more resources to the table. If you solve for the new, new nuclear problem, uh, SCAN is a very good company. Uh, it's uh, got decent, very good growth in its electric and gas uh, utilities. South Carolina is a wonderful state to do business in. We're, we're already there with a pipeline business and some solar farms. Uh, great prospects ahead. We have a long-term view of this. Um, we're we're uh, investing for the long term in South Carolina. Well, you've explained to us many times there is a boom in this country, and it's really centered on South Carolina. So in that sense, there's going to be a lot of new businesses that are going to make it so if Dominion gets this, it's going to be very, very positive for your earnings profile. Yes, we think we believe it will. Uh, and, you know, you have to – you can't look for this quarter – uh, but it's immediately accretive post-closing. Well, you also, you, you've taught us a lot about thinking further in advance. You told us one day you would have co you would have a co-point plant that would be LNG uh, export and that it would come in on time and it'd be in budget. That has happened, hasn't it? It's uh, in budget. It's in its final commissioning right now. Uh, we're doing the last parts of the, uh, the commissioning of that facility, and it will be commercial operation uh, very shortly, early this year. And again, you will make money off that. Uh, yes, sir, we sure will. We have 20 year uh, take or pay contracts uh, with uh, very good credit worthy partners. Uh, so if they use the facility, uh, they pay us. And if they don't use the facility, they pay us for 20 years. It's a very well thought through uh, investment that's taken us three years to build, five years in development. 
but we'll uh, be getting the benefits from it for 20 years and sending a very important resource, our national uh, trade, our, our gas from our country to help our allies in Japan and India. All right. Now, one of the things that you did say in uh, your excellent conference call was that this really is the offer you're going to make for Scanner. It, it, a lot of people felt and read the research. A lot of people say, oh, that's just it, it's just the first negotiating point. And there's good, they're going to have to pay a lot more. But you have made it very clear this is your offer and you should take it, South Carolina. That's our offer. We put all of our chips on the table. It's been too long a period in South Carolina that they've been going through this uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty for SCANA, uh, its employees, its retirees, its shareholders, uncertainty for the citizens of South Carolina and their customers, the, the policymakers. Uh, we decided we weren't going to play that kind of a, of a negotiating uh, process. We we're going to put all of our chips on the table, uh, and they are all on the table. Uh, Tom, one last question. Will there ever be another nuclear power plant built in this country? Well, the Southern Company is, uh, plans on finishing the two reactors they're building at Vogel. Uh, I think uh, the possibility of smaller modular reactors uh, is real uh, in the future and uh, depends on what happens uh, with policies, uh, energy policies in the United States over the next couple of decades. I think it's very likely, actually, that you will see more nuclear plants built, but not in the next few years. Well, excellent. Look, I think this is a great opp opportunity to buy Dominion. It's very rare that I ever see it down this much from the high. I bet you you get it. And I want to congratulate you for thinking big. Most people don't think big. They think about the next quarter. You fought for years ahead, and that's why your, your company's been such a great, great stock to own. Thank you to Tom Farrell, as the chairman, president, and CEO of Dominion Energy, letter D. I would buy this stock. Back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.